Okay guys, so I have a black poster board which is cut to match my frame size, which the frame size is going to be 50.5 centimeters by 61. I have measured it just to make sure. Um, in America, you'll be hard pressed to find a frame that is uh, to the centimeter because we always go by inches. So here's the diamond painting and I've cut off all the edges of the diamond painting. The diamond painting measures 39 and a half by 51 and a half. So we're just going to figure out how to center the diamond painting on the black poster board for our framing. So you're, these are both the widths, so you're just going to subtract them. And I'm going to put these uh, math formulas on the bottom of the screen for you as well. So the frame is 50.5, the paint with diamonds is 39 and a half, so that makes our difference 11 centimeters. And we're going to half that, so 5.5 centimeters is how far we're going to measure in from the width side. We're going to do the same thing for the length. So if we take the difference between those, that's nine and a half centimeters. And then we're going to half that, so that way we know how far to measure in. And half of nine and a half is uh, 4.75, is that correct? 4.75? So that tells us how far to measure in on the length. So this is width and this is length. Okay, so we're now going to mark that on our black poster board with a pencil. So I'm gonna get my measuring tape here. So we'll do the width first. We're looking for five and a half centimeters. Again, the black poster board matches my frame. So we're looking for five and a half centimeters. I'll mark that with a pencil. I'm also going to mark it in the middle. And up here. And now let's do the length. Just going to turn the entire thing so you can kind of see what we're doing. The length is going to be 4.75 centimeters, that's what we're looking at. I'm just going to take my tape. 4.75 Okay. Perfect. So, now, if we are to put 
the diamond painting on the black poster board. And we're going to move the edge over to where those markings are so that that lines up. Over here, you can see the marking. If you need to draw a line, then draw a line. Uh, and then we're going to move it down until we see the markings that were made on the length. There's one, there's one. And so we're just going to put these edges right on those markings. So the next step is, and you can use pretty much anything for this next step. Um, Gorilla Glue, although you better know what you're doing because that stuff dries fast. Um, glue stick. We have scotch, double stick tape, uh, tacky glue, craft glue, regular double stick tape, whatever you want to use in order to um, put the diamond painting onto the black poster board. So keeping it in the center, not moving it, just flipping up one side. I'm gonna try this first on the corners. Get it on there pretty good. So that way it doesn't move while I'm trying to do the rest. Everybody loves Gorilla Glue, including me. So that will stick this right here to the black poster board so that way I can lift up the other and stick that as well. So I'm just going to move on so you don't have to see all of that. Okay, so there we have it. So pretty much what I did was I used the double stick tape on the outside corners as well as the Gorilla Glue on the outside corners and I just used the glue stick for, you know, more coverage but of course the glue stick is probably not going to hold the entire thing on there just on its own you'll need something a little stronger than that so here's the frame and the top of my frame is going to be here because that is where the wire hooks are and the top of the picture is here where the moon is so i'm just going to turn this over the frames usually come with a Kind of packing um, type material. So I'll put that back in there just to have that tightness between the back of the frame and the front picture. 
me see if I remember how this goes in right here, I think. If you need something a little thicker, just put uh, paper in there. Or if you have anything that's like that foam packing stuff, put that in there. Another poster board, you know, anything to thicken it up that you need to do. Okay, it's in there. Let me turn it over for you. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so here is the finished diamond painting framed and everything. Again, this is 40 by 52 centimeters diamond painting. I'm sorry for the reflection on the glass, but I did clean the glass, so it's super clean. But there is that. Now I'm going to um, discuss a little bit about the actual diamonds. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the diamonds and the colors between kits. So this is the paper that came with the Four Seasons tree. I have since ordered four other kits and received them in the mail. I waited a long time for them, of course. Um, but I just wanted everyone to notice that at the top of where the numbers are, in this column they have these two uh, symbols right there well if your numbers have these symbols going along with them then they will be the same colors as any other kit that has those two symbols there it is again on a different kit that I ordered same two symbols so this column of numbers are going to match the diamonds that I already have for my other one. And I do have a couple of duplicate numbers so I can use diamonds from the Four Seasons tree to use on the flowery cow or whatever you wanna call that. So I just wanted to let everybody know that also it's been brought to my attention by a commenter and I am also a cross stitcher. So I noticed that it was also true, but these numbers here with that symbol that I was talking about, these numbers here also match the D and C floss. So I'll show you a couple of examples that I already had here. So, let's see here. $7.99, which I don't know if you can see that very good, but there's the little diamonds. I don't want to dump them out. There's the diamonds, and this is the DMC floss, $7.99. It matches. Uh, $7.98. That blue, can you see it good? Here's 798, the DMC floss. Matches. Seven twenty-nine. And here's the seven twenty-nine DMC floss. So really the diamond paintings are uh, cross stitch grids. You just aren't cross stitching them. You're painting with diamonds. Okay, so I'm going to go through the four paintings that I got to work on, start working on. Uh, the cow that I was showing you 
that's one of the ones that I got. And here's one, another one that I got to go along with it. It's a deer. And the cow, I ordered both of them off AliExpress. Um, and yes, AliExpress is a little bit cheaper, but you also get what you pay for. The cow came in this box. Smashed. <laughs> Completely smashed. And it had minimal uh, problems with the, the canvas. I had to lay it out flat take up the adhesive cover, lay that back out flat on top of it, and then put books on it for, I've had books on it for a week or two. Um, the deer also came from AliExpress. And I'll insert a picture of how it came. It was not in a box at all. And the end of the wrapping was even open. And so I'll insert a picture of that here. And when I got that one, it was pretty bad off. Um, I did the same thing, like you can still see there. And this has been under heavy books for a long time. And I did the same thing to where I peeled up the adhesive cover, I laid it back down flat, as flat as I could, and then put books on it for a long time. And you can even see the back um, of it still has creases. So, honestly, I would rather pay the extra 10 bucks or however much it is and get them from paintwithdiamonds.com. I've already said it before. The paintwithdiamonds.com I got two from there. They came in the same box, which is fine with me. And they came, no bubbles, completely flat. I'm not even gonna have to put any books on these or anything. I mean, you can see the reflection of the light on it. No bubbles at all. No parts where it was, here's the back. I mean, of course it's, it's rolled up a little bit, but no problem whatsoever. Same thing with the second one that came in the same box. No problem whatsoever. No creases, no parts where the paper had been torn, none of that. So that is a big reason that I order from paintwithdiamonds.com. Now, I am not affiliated with them in any way, but I'll pay the extra money to make sure that my stuff is getting to me nice and neat. Um, the two that I ordered from them are the Rainbow Mandala. You can see that on there. And is called Clockwork Orange. Well, I know that's the name of a movie, but it's a girl down there and all these clocks and stuff. So those are gonna be fun. And all of these have the same numbers that go along with the colors um, of my other kits. Here's that symbol again. And so that means all these numbers are gonna match the numbers that I already have and the DMC floss. I hope that you enjoy my videos and I will continue to make them and show off uh, the diamond paintings that I've done. And I hope that the tips and tricks um, help out a couple of people. Uh, these are the easiest crafts ever. There is no mistakes. There's no way you could possibly mess up. Um, the diamonds do not come off easily. It's, it's a very easy project and pretty much anybody can do them. And it's kind of taking off.
this craft is taking off. So enjoy your diamond painting. Have fun. Post your pictures. I'd love to see them. Thanks.